We will start with you, Valentina. In terms of Caitlin, uh, who do you think is the most impressive win on her resume to this point? Any of her wins in the past that, that maybe have impressed you? You know, it um, never was my goal to search this information. Everything that I needed from her and from her fights right. and to see her style. Not impressed by her, not in doing like something crazy things, just her style and her technique, nothing yeah. more. You, uh, this one comes from Hunnett Sports for Valentina. Do you consider yourself the best female fighter in the world at this time? Mm, I don't know. I just do my things that what I love to do because martial arts for me it's uh, my life, my passion. And um, if people considering me like this, I have more something to that motivate me to continue my hard training. All right, another question here for Bullet Valentina. This one from Matthew Lowe, 25. You can fight, shoot guns, you can dance, speak multiple languages, you can draw, you can paint, you can play the ukulele, and you're about to make your acting debut alongside Halle Berry. Is there anything in life that you are not good at? Um, I don't know. I just um, want to learn more and more every time. I think we have to um, not waste our like time in life and just um, you know my um, one of the my favorites movie and uh, my uh, one of the favorites like image of um, person how it uh, how they sh uh, should be it's uh, James Bond why people likes him because he can everything he can fly right. plane he can drive car motorcycle he can uh, like do whatever right. and this is what motivate me to do and continue the same way what I am doing you truly are a renaissance woman no doubt about it is, is, when you looked at Kayla when you broke down her fights I mean is there anything unique that she does that you haven't seen before or anything that you saw they said, hey, this is one thing I've got to be really, really careful about in this fight. Now, you know, the fight is fight. You have to be really careful about everything. doesn't matter who you faced. And this is my uh, mentality that uh, to make the fight easy, you have to train harder than anyone. And um, I know Caitlin, she's uh, hoping that her reach and her like hate's going to help her during the fight. But she's mistaken. She's mistaken a lot. <laughs> I know exactly what to expect from her. I know exactly how to manage the distance. And um, yeah, I'm ready for the Saturday. It's gonna be my night, of course. <laughs> One more for you, Valentina. I mean, you're becoming an awfully dominant champion, um, and there's, I don't think, a lot of contenders necessarily right there ready for you. I mean, what, what do you want to do next after you win this fight? I mean, do you see other contenders that are ready for you, or you know, do you look at changing divisions or you know, asking the, the strawweight champ to move up or whatever? I mean, what, what do you see for your, for your immediate future? Uh, you know, it's like uh, interesting things happen that me, I don't have to ask no one to do nothing because they want to fight with me. I, I don't know what people they are saying about super fight. I have to, many options to choose. Amanda Nunes, Chinese girl Whaley, or Henry Cejudo, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so you're the, you're the James Bond, I guess, of, uh, of women's MMA. Do you want to do movies? Because I know that you have that, that uh, movie coming out with Holly Berry, but is that something you want to do, maybe going to Hollywood later on? Um, you know, um, university, what I uh, finished, it's a university of arts, and my uh, um, career, it's film director. So, um, of course, definitely in the future, I would love to see me over there. And if uh, it's going to be a um, movie, what gonna make, they gonna make like about James Bond, but female, uh, female version. I will be first in the line for this movie. <laughs> you think you'd be a better Black Widow than Scarlett Johansson? 
<laughs> I, it's very different. I am right now. I'm considering that um, my professional fighter career is um, like very important for me, and you know, it's like um, the real. It's real what we are like making right now. It's very like so hard uh, living the life what the fighters are living, and uh, it's take a lot of energy. That's why um, all my focus right now it's in the in the training and to make myself better as a fighter each day. There's been a conversation lately about, you know, who, who have been the best women's MMA fighters of all time, you know, Ronda Rousey, Chris Cyborg, Amanda Nunes. Uh, do you feel like you're in that conversation and what do you think you have to do to kind of keep yourself and kind of cement yourself in that conversation to be one of the best ever? I don't care about the conversation, I just do my things. I be in the fight and this is it. <laughs> Can you, can you explain to us why you, uh, you, changed, you changed the hair? No, the hair, it's because of movie. It's because of the movie what I was um, uh, participating with Halle Berry. My character was the red hair. So um, I just keep it for, for a while. <laughs> Seems to be pretty popular. Um, last thing, uh, recently um, the country you're from, uh, Kyrgyzstan, was added to uh, the travel restriction list um, to the United States. Do you have any opinion on that? Do you, do you know why why that happened? And any thoughts on that? Mm, you know, actually, um, I'm. I was too deep in the training camps and uh, was very hard training, but I can say for sure that people from my country, they are every time very honest and they are like, probably it was, you know, by, um, I heard something, it's about the biometrics, something like this. It's more not about the people, it's more about the technology that probably we don't have Kyrgyzstan still don't have the technology that USA using like for the, uh, all this stuff. But um, I would say exactly that Kyrgyz people, they are very noble, very good people, and they are um, everything that they are doing with, like, with a lot of heart. The next question for Valentina. How, how does it feel to be at such a level when you know that your opponents need their personal best just to compete with you? Mm, you know, um, for me, it's just like um, everything what I do, it's because I love to do martial arts. And um, I don't know, I just, every day when I come to the training, I'm trying to focus to perform myself and to learn something new, to be better. I never stop. And um, I just, uh, it's my mindset, do everything and be the best. And everyone, I heard a lot, they are saying, okay, we come to the fight, we are here to enjoy, enjoy the fight, right? But um, I don't know how you can enjoy the fight, how you really can enjoy when someone hit you in the face, yeah? And I think that if I come to the, if I go inside of the octagon, I here only for the victory, nothing else.